They announced today on uh, Christian Henson's channel, there is a brand new initiative they've started called Piano Book Artists. This is something uh, that kind of takes piano book into a different direction, but it's really exciting because it's a way to help support uh, some of the samplists and the developers that are really putting out some fantastic instruments. These are just a little different. They've got a cost to them, but what is amazing is it's fully contact player compatible, uh, NKS compatible. So it's uh, 39, this is $39, and it's called the Feathered Flute, and it's created by John Meyer. He has just uh, produced so many fabulous uh, piano book libraries. Okay, so here we go. Let's just take a quick look at the Feathered Flute from uh, John Meyer and Piano Book Artist. Uh, and it shows up in the library shelf. So with your, when you purchase it, they'll send you a contact serial number. You register it within uh, Native Access, and then it will show up. It will show up. Yeah, my weatherman skills. It'll show up in your contact library. And um, I was watching the stream, and I saw the email come in. Oh wow, thanks guys. And so, uh, so they sent this to me to just kind of take a look at today, and I just really appreciate it. So you've got uh, seven uh, different articulations. And then you've got this feather effect. And so let's just start with just the sustains. That's nice. Okay, this is kind of unusual. I'm um, I'm going to see, okay, CC11, that's CC11. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna remove CC11 here because I just want CC11. Um, I'm gonna remove this. Okay, so expression is my CC11 and dynamics I've got on the mod wheel. Yeah, there we go, so that that's good. So when I was moving my CC11, it was moving both of these. Um, That's very nice. And you can see that the, um, well, you can see it here in this, um, in this other shot, that the key range is just, uh, it's, it's just kind of limited there. And, but you've, what you get, and I, you know, sometimes that limited range just kind of helps, um, Then we can turn this feather and it just sort of, listen to that. Very cool. It almost sounds like, you know, birds, bird calling and different voices. So the pure, Now let's go to the staccato and turn the feather down there. And this is a flute that John, uh, I think John actually made this. I just needed a little more time to uh, learn some more about this, but I'm just really interested in the sound. Uh, this is the chatter.
just a lot of creativity here. And then uh, you've got it. Also, you got a filter. You got a low pass filter that we can assign. Just to kind of change that even more. And oh wow, okay. So the ethereal it does have an expanded key range. So that's kind of cool. Let's see. That's nice. Take the feather down. And just slowly bring it up. Wow. Yeah, this is the thick pad, yeah. It's just a very thick, rich. Let's do this. Uh, I'm just going to do that quick and dirty link with the uh, with the legacy piano here. That the attack just like it's like there it is that's so cool Okay, yeah. So thank you, Stephen. Thank you for that. Um, you know me. So, sometimes I get so caught up in just uh, what I'm hearing that it be, you become. Um, I guess your your focus just gets like this. You're just focused on this, and there's so much else out there. So when you click that advanced tab, we do have, uh, and I'm going to uh, disengage that sound paint piano. Uh, so we've got a mixer section. So we've got just the flute, and here we go. Yes, yeah, so I can adjust that attack and release. That is so cool. With and then we've got a subtone here. Yeah, that sub synth. Just that nice, gritty. Well, fat and fat. And then we've got a little grit here. Let's see what the grit sounds like by itself. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. So maybe the grit has something to do. Okay, so let's just bring the flutes up. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to find out what that does. But this is just a really cool way to mix these pads together. Very nice. Okay, shorts. Uh, yeah, we've got shorts here. And we're
And you can see that little little pictograph about how that you can see the sound kind of, re I mean, the, the pictograph re reflects that sound. That's kind of cool. And this is a long. So you can see it, it just kind of builds up. Yeah, so a short attack and then a medium. And then long. So that is just really beautiful. And let's see, yeah, the ethereal brings up those different layers. So just a fabulous, um, fabulous instrument and a uh, really, a really good way to uh, support the, um, support the developer. And uh, just, let's just see what happens. And you know what, I would, uh, I would definitely uh, let the guys at Piano Book know your thoughts and concerns. I guess that's what that community is about. And um, it's just amazing. And and it's good to see Stephen Talmy. Good to see you. And this is, yeah, it was just, this is just like a catalyst. You know, it, it was like the whole idea of Piano Book has created this catalyst that has brought out so much creativity, so much, uh, so many things that would never have happened uh, if they hadn't have started this. It's just been an inspiration to uh, uh, a lot of people. And it's um, kind of an inspiration to see, man, what can I sample? Uh, you know, <laughs> the whole world starts, sort of becomes your, your sample. So it's just uh, a wonderful thing. And so great, uh, great kudos to uh, Piano Book and the guys there and all of the samplers there. Uh, John Meyer, especially for this uh, particular one that we're looking at today. So uh, make sure you check out the links in the description and uh, just enjoy all of the things that are available.